fun. It's my 70th cabaret from my collection I'm selling. There it is. All done. Well, they made probably perhaps the most uh, in cabaret outruns. Uh, they made a turbo outrun. They made a lot less of them. This configuration is quite nice. It has the curved dashboard. Walt, can you bring over the other, the full-size one? We had to scavenge a full-size outrun to get this one. So this is a combination of two different things. Obviously, there's certain elements we can't reuse, but this is the original control panel for an outrun. Now the steering is not even close. You'll notice that in the original outrun, this slides back and forth and this is gigantic motor that shakes it. Not so in the cabaret, there's no room. Thank you, Walt. Instead, what shakes that is this. Now, yes, we're gonna show you this solenoid board. What this is, oh, that, that'll work good. Uh, it, it's th this is what we call it, a poor man's. <laughs> so big this is a, a poor man's shaker motor. Now, I gotta at least give Sega credit. They didn't put this on the the. Uh, turbo outrun mini. They had no motor at all. This is not a motor. This is what shakes the machine. It's a relay, a solenoid, and all it does is do this. And it pushes the steering wheel and it makes this god awful noise too. So what we're going to do is put this inside the front door so our customer can turn it off if he doesn't want to hear it. So this just plugs in, pushes that steering wheel, and gives it a little tiny bit of feedback. Not what we're used to. <laughs> but you gotta give Sega credit. And it only appeared <clears throat> in the uh, outrun. Turbo outrun, bye bye. And it's loud. <laughs> it just bumps into the steering wheel. It creates a slight vibration, but it's loud, more loud than anything. So, we put that switch on. So our customer can reach in and flip the switch off. Now, when we got this in, the um, wires were pulled off. So whoever had it before did not like that, that little vibration. Just like his wife, which is what? Loud? You know, if my wife watches this video, she'll sit right on top of you. And if she sits on top of you, you won't hear the stereo. It wasn't me that did that. You probably green screened my hand in there somehow. We all saw it better. I can use this to bribe you. No. Now, you know, she's going to be in here on Friday. If she sees that, she's not going to be happy. You smash she the camera. No it doesn't matter. She can't read. She can't this, write. This, these people want to see Sega outrun. God, you're bringing flies in. Our customer requested black tea mold. He wants it as original as possible. <coughs> He's at, this is actually one of three videos, uh, one of three cabarets. Look at the beautiful side art. Stephen restored. Steven. That's the original 1986 side art. Now we did put a new pad for your uh, the, the uh, rubber mat for the pedals. Th this Can isn't I play the it? Price is right. I want to play it. In a minute, I have to show them inside. Well, hurry, because I want to play. I have to show them inside. Now look, I want to show you. We have a, the wonderful 7,000 chassis, new flyback, all new caps, bulletproof forever. Look at how nice and neat and clean everything is down here. We have a new terminal strip, power supply. The caps were changed on the amplifier board, and that little black thing right there, see that? That's the can help. That's for the shaker, and you can actually see it mounted. There's the on-off switch, and Frank, can you bring us in? You can yeah, see. sure. Can you give me a minute to? Before you... There it is, and it just bumps into it. 
it's not it's not the greatest arrangement. Now, you'll notice the game is not on free play. And that is because if you leave it on free play, it will drive you insane. Like you? Because it keeps playing over and over again. Like you. I don't keep playing over. And over. Yeah. Anyway. We have the free play. Now, the advertising sound is on. He can flip that off if he chooses. There's a switch to turn it on and off. And then our credit button here will start the game. We have the coin mix in it in case he does want to put it back on coin up. He can do that in a second. The volume control and your test menu switches are right there. And there's a coin box in there. Hurt. The people are dying to hear you play it. Now, with the back door closed, it's a lot less offensive in sound. Just bending over. But you're not, you're not, a, you're offensive in sound, Kurt. <laughs> ready? We're ready, Kurt. Ready? Listen. Magical? Get ready. Whisper quiet, shaker mode, we're coming up. Good, Kurt, I'm glad you switched gears. Ready? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it does sound like it. Here, I'll be ready. Are we playing uh, Terminator? And remember, it's bouncing into the screen. See, you, you get a little effect. You get a little, but nothing like the, uh, up, the, the full songs. But I guess they decided to take that feature out. Actually, the turbo outrun steering is completely different. This, of course, is the most popular of the three songs. A, a terrific score and a beautiful stereo. 1986 technology. Look at that picture. Didn't like you doing that, Kurt. Nope. I suspect our customer will be good turning the switch off. <laughs> or he'll learn how to stay on the road. It sounds like a mechanical blue <laughs> wall. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Let's bring it up. Credits. Uh, I saw like, one other video. John, John's arcade had a uh, turbo outrun. He's just put the switch off. No, an outrun cabaret too. And he commented how loud it was. So, you didn't go, oh, that was great. You turned the switch off, but there's no reason to. I was off the road. It didn't play. Look at the course map. Look at all these different ways to get to the end. You can make left or right. Come to the end. What's your big left or right? Wow. Uh, what, what is the end of how many different courses are there? Ten? Very nice as well. Again, so is this how we're going to stop? We're going to hear the game. <laughs> Stephen was able to bring back the side on both sides. Really yeah, we showed him. <laughs> Did you show this side? <laughs> Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. They do not Same make... Now, this plate was obviously changed at some point. The, the shifter is in great shape. I have to it's turn. Thick. He's got to grab it. <laughs> this is video. We're trying this to show video? how it works. We're trying to show them the beauty of this. Now, if some people thought this was a 15-inch boot monitor. It's actually a... It is still a 19-inch. It, it's very deceptive looking. I don't like you. <laughs> As the other game! <laughs> you look like a celebrity, but you're deceptive. <laughs> uh, anyway, we've had enough, Kurt. But, you made it to the check. Beautiful color changes. Yeah, it's nice to actually, so can actually play the game. You don't think I can do better than just as good as Kurt? Trash man. You got 65 seconds left, young man. Now we'll check back in with him. Oh, Let's look at this pack, man. Oh, We've had enough of it. Well, I was going to show him this and come back and see if you got through the, okay, the next stage. Okay, I'm Sure. Well, I'm paying you. Well, that remains to be all see these beautiful cabarets. This isn't in my camp because I've done tons of these. You're going to turn. Okay. Um, this beautiful game is an original Miss Pac-Man. They made tons of these cabarets. Nowhere near as many as the others, but the original monitor glass, see it says tempered glass, still intact and in good shape. This is a replacement overlay and front artwork. Of course, they were gone. 
But we've lit the top with 12 volt LEDs <clears throat> because the light circuits are all 12 volts in this game. So inside Pretty here, clever, clever. we also have 12 volt. We also have a cash pan if the customer would like to, in fact, play this, um, uh, put it back in quarter operation. Beautiful picture, gorgeous picture. How did you do? Uh, Let's see how far he got. Look. Look, a long way. Okay, there's five in. Very nice. What do you think? Isn't this nice? <coughs> well, maybe somebody will remake it. Uh, a customer, whoever had it before, did, did a fairly good job of patching this. That was a good this is a replacement you plexiglass. Well, you can't do that. You can't do much now. I mean, you gotta go with the fact that so few cabarets have survived. Uh, Frank, can we show them inside here? It's same as all the other ones. Well, the Geo 7, the well, customer it's getting it wants to see the video. Uh, 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 flyback, caps, holders, board fuse holders, caps, board service. Blah, 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 blah. Oh! Frank! But well, you're gonna have to stick around for the end of the video is the centipede next door, and then the boxing of the three. That's at the end of this video. End of the video. But right now, I want to show you, we had a pouring rainstorm earlier today. <laughs> Boy, did it rain. And I got to take you out back of the shop to show you what happened. Good, it's raining. What? What about my monitors? <laughs> my picture tube. <laughs> They're floating away. Bye-bye. Maybe they'll go into the neighbor. There's all that air in them. And that, the big one. <laughs> what big one? <laughs> Want to put a note on it? <laughs> we could stuff something in the top of the tube. Mm -hmm. The one with the broken deck. Oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> Wallace. Wallace. I rolled your windows down, Wallace. Yeah, well, I had to do something. Uh, you know, I wanted him, the, the car to stay nice and cool. You're, you're, a mess. you're a mess. I need somebody who's smart, intelligent. Er? Not me. I'm not smart nor intelligent. <laughs> I'd be good looking. <laughs> well, I don't know about good looking. It's me again. Yes, but wait a minute. I realized that. In this entire video, I've yet to do this or this. You turn, you turn your head. I missed the cue. You missed it. It's in the watch. That's better. That's better. Okay, here. Let's show them Hurricane. Now, we got this. Look, we traded it in. Look when we sold it, 2003. We are established. We've been here. All these fly-by-night people. Well, we're leaving the sticker on it. Yes, we did sell it. And back then, it had light bulbs, in it, just like it has here. Customer, if you look at our list, we frequently sell a lot of the games as is, as they were. It's exactly how it was when it got traded in. And the customer said, I, "I'm going to do it myself." I said, "Okay." So he's going to re-rubber it. It's beautiful. Wow, we did do this. All the electronics we went through again. Because we actually had to change the cap, that 12 volt cap. I'm gonna show it to you. This thing is failing like hotcakes. That one right there. You have to change that cap, okay? They're dropping like flies. Then it's durable. And we also put two new bridges in that are high up off the board. Steve Young sells them. And back in 2003, we weren't putting the capacitors in the uh, high voltage. And of course, Frank's button battery. So, but we did go through. Are you waiting? We've got to go. I know, I know, I know. We, the, the other game, we just went out, the shuffle alley. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Step right this way! I love this shot. I wish I didn't get it. That's half a minute. But what a great shot. Double feet right into that. 
Really nice smell. Isn't it nice how that cord makes to the wheel? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Now, you know when your belt's bad, the old belt's black. Come over here, please. The new belt is clear. Steve Young at Pinball Resource has it. The ball gets that far and stops spinning, then you know your belt is slipping. It's time to order one from Steve. What kind of ball is that? He's getting the camera just the way he saw in 2010. Now, he needs... Oh, I want to check one thing. Good. Yeah, it has the tilt bob in it. I just want to make sure. Good. Now, I'm sure all of you are aware of this, but on the older machines, it doesn't have that annoying trough where the balls line up. You can actually kick the balls out with your hand. And then they have these micro switches here to keep track of the balls and not those stupid optics. Now listen, another game we sold as is, you already saw one. Let's go and I'm going to show you Medieval Madness. Number two. Medieval Madness number two. Let me turn the double lights on. To save energy, we turn the heavier heavier, the brighter lights on when we have parties, or when we're showing games. Look, here it is. This is number two going out. This is the one that sold for 7000 and we, we just had to go through and put all the lights in it so he could see all the lights are blinking. Everything is functioning as it should. Is this the one that has the one troll works, but it, the, the target doesn't, right? Switch, yes. Right. And we put in... Frank's battery board right there. We've also got the switch line chip and a socket. The fuse. Factory did that on fuse. the Fuse. And we changed the bulbs in here. I realize it's going to put LEDs in it. I, we just wanted to show that everything did work. Uh, this is one of the two medieval madnesses, if you watch the other videos, that we think were in this one location their whole life. They never took them apart. Um, I, that's why the cabinet art stayed really nice. Um, it, this one had a little more flipper wear here, but there were no jewel lifting. But it's um, coming, coming. And I noticed this is the yeah. This is broken here, right? Kurt? Let me see that one. Yeah, I had another one of these. I thought the other one was missing the gate. Yeah, well, we found the gate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is broken here. That's what. I, I had this. I don't know where it came from, but I'm going to give this to him. This isn't from this game, but he can put this on. And then he can put that on eBay. And look, this is the one that also had, look at the dirtiest manual. But it's got, look at the goodie bag in there. Uh, there. Oh, look, Star Trek Journal. Star Trek Journal. God, we used to get these, Frank. Um, they were paper, and then they, the last couple years they were uh, in, in existence. This was a way that you could share repairs to the, the world. The Star Trek Journals were really great because they would, it would be technicians talking to technicians rather than the manufacturers. Stuff the manufacturers forgot about. And the Star Treks were great. Like this one here covered U.S. games, super duper countertop power supply situation, Ballet Theater of Magic, optic sensor adjustments. The, and I, I wrote a number of these for this, too. I wrote a number of articles for it. A years ago, I just, just At least recall. I got the print, unlike your book. Oh! The book comes out. Time for a commercial. Here's my commercial. right you can order the book right here better order my book let me answer the phones yes. operators are standing by no we're not do we don't oh. sell them from here Kurt no. they go from the website you order for them from the website 
on sale. People like my book. They will like it. And this is volume one. We're going to cover a ton of great games in it. We're actually going to have a list. Oh, the, the list will be up soon. I, I'm jumping around here. The warranty card. Attention quality department. Wounds, wounds. Frank, do you think the That's man... That's what somebody's going to say when they see the game. It says overhaul by TNT. God, oh, I used to have to turn down Dr. Boulevard. Now, let me ask you a question. Long gone. I call and I call. Let Let's call TNT. Well, There's well, nobody there. And the following. Pinball, dedicated, shuffle, video, novelty. Can you call him about the wings? Give him a call right now and see if they have wings available. The wings. Look, <clears throat> look, he could still put these stickers down. Maybe I should put them down for him. Anyway, but... I, See, the man that printed, that came up with the idea of this quality card, he's sweeping the floors at Stern right now. Come up with your own joke, stupid. I, I took it from Fry. Come up with I your own joke, it. stupid. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, look, let me show you something. Kurt, put, Kurt found, there, he found a bunch of screws in the game. These are actually the replacement rubbers, brand new rubbers they gave us Again! with the game. And so we're going to give it to him. We're going to give it to you, aren't we? He's been waiting. He's been, look, his wife gave him her approval. He's going to Utah. His wife said go for it. <clears throat> and he's going to get a real... That's the kind of wife to have. Actually, I guess it is. Uh, this you wouldn't know anything about that, so don't agree. This is an awful <laughs> cash pan. What an ugly cash pan. <laughs> you did. Is that a picture of you, Kurt? I don't think so. Get the right day for His legs will clean up. But boy, you're going to have to scrub them. Boy, they're dirty. I can't believe it. I don't know whether he, what he did with his legs. Or... Yeah. Now, this game, I need to do the pros again. I want to do the pros. Can we do the pros again? Yeah, the yellow targets. Four times. Four. Six more times. I think the left one jumps up and goes to the floor, right? No! Oh! Oh! Nope! No one! Yeah, this one doesn't sound. You do it hard? No, the other one works. You gotta fix it. He's gonna fix that. Yep, it's the switching side. Kurt said it's dreadful to take a part. But that'll be part, but the thing that makes this game so nice you make me scared. is that these mechanisms you were never me. welded. Oh, cool. They've never been out of the game. So you're getting stuff that hey, hasn't you. been fiddled with, taken apart. It's broken wire, Broken wire, okay, there we go. Okay. Oh look, this still has this in it too. It's, oh god, it's still stable. Look, Frank Good. That's the uh, the power, the overseas connector cable. I guess the United States is still in it. Not that it doesn't need a pinball dolly. Well, he'll fix that. He may end up getting new legs. <laughs> His legs are awful. Show one last thing and then we're going to move on to the next game. This is going to look like the LEDs. Oh, man. It'll be a front permanent keeper. All right. We got to get out of here. My God, Frank, we got to go. How's it smooth? I'm exhausted. Ah! All right, now look. You know, you know, Kurt. That's an old joke. 
It's a stupid. Just like this guy's an old joke. (laughs) Okay, do you want to see the original reference where he really got me? But I got back at the little miserable. Uh, Just watch the virtual. Get me back. Watch our virtual racing video. I raced the, you, you will enjoy He ran it. faster than the buffet line. <laughs> he ran for that sandwich. <sighs> so mean to me. Right, I gotta go. Let's wrap this up. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's let's keep going. We have visitors from Canada. Canada. Hello. Canada. Visitors. <laughs> this is Lee Hi. and LJ. Say hello. Hello. You're yes. six, aren't you? Tell me. Do you love watching my videos? <laughs> Did you see he's shaking his head voluntarily? Yes. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You have to up and down, up and down, up and down. Like that. How much did you pay him? Ah, <laughs> how much did you pay him? You better have this done. This guy is going to have a stroke if he doesn't get his game on Friday. And this guy is going to be raging. This thing's a mess. Not for long. A lot of work. Do you, have you, you know, you, you've gotten a chance to you see us on video mm-hmm. and now you get a chance to see in person that it's even messier than it is on video yes all that <laughs> editing ah, <laughs> a lot of cutting cutting and pasting ah now when are you going home you're going to go home soon friday friday so he's decided to stop by and freeload here yep. you better buy shirts we came for the signed card plus he's going to order he's going to order all of my books all 10 volumes you better the volumes, the extra cuts. <laughs> just just a six five weeks, six weeks, yeah. seven weeks, Two whole something like that. Yep. Yeah, right there. Yes, it's right there. <sighs> well, I'm gonna we're gonna finish uh, visiting. Mom decided she didn't want to come. No. They're shopping. Yes. I filling hope they the don't visa. fill up the, it's the visa and filling up the car. Yes. <laughs> uh, we love visits, don't we? And look, bargain basement, another game gone. Eighteen wheeler. This is the upright. Uh, we we went through it uh, when it first came in. Oh, look, that's the retail. It's twelve hundred. Less than half price. Now, this was one of the. Um, Returns. I wanted to show you actually, Frank. If you come back here, it actually has the sticker on it. You see that? See, it was new 38, looks like 06. Okay. And somebody signed for it. Sega Manufacturing UK. This came from overseas. Now, it was 220 volts. Does see that transformer? So what we had to do is we had to put down a step-down transformer in. Actually, that was in up front. Somebody packed it in there. Boy, what a mess. So we moved it back here so it's actually screwed down and secure. And that's the Naomi, the whole new system. And wait a minute, Frank. I think we have a video about this one right there. Okay? When this first came in. There's another sticker up here. That's another one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to take this top off to ship it. So we're going to take the bolts out. This has to come off. That's the plate for the bottom here. The customer, there is one bracket with a wheel on it. The other one's not there, but there's this thing. So he's going to have to get this configured in so it fits. And um, we made sure it worked. Please select a truck. Let's do this way. Which one most looks like you? That, that one. one. That was a short round truck. Yes. Yeah. See now, before, skip with an accelerator or start button. Okay, now you've seen the. Oh, we, I think we played this when it first came in. It's going to need a cleanup. It's going to need touch up. Your destination for this job is Key West. Make sure you get there on time. I'm going to try, sir. Now it has two uh, speakers here, and then there's a woofer down below. Oh. Come off. 
some footage of me creating these three cabarets. But unlike him, I don't got all day. So I stole the camera, I'm gonna do it myself. Okay, so the plan is to outrun on one skid. We'll double strap it, box it up, and then the Miss Pac-Man and way back here Mr. Centipede we're gonna put on one skin side by side okay so through the magic of editing it now has two initial straps that magically appeared as Todd would think so next, I will put cardboard around it and wrap it up and throw two more straps on it. And there you have our finished product. Ready to go, safe as can be. Packed up, two extra straps on the outside and our handy dandy tip and tell shock watch. And now on the skid two. As you can see, I was safely able to put two on one skid with room to spare. They arrived safe and for extra protection I put a blanket between them so they don't rub together and ruin that lovely paint job by our magician Steve and there you have it a couple more straps and double cabaret skid will be done but I better hurry up and get them on because I'm sure Todd will be looking for his camera soon it's all done. Added the last two straps, and I better get back before Scott? top. Oh, he found Scotty? me. Scotty, that's my camera. I was looking all over. I wanted to film the games. Well, I knew you'd take forever to come over. Oh, well, as you can see, we got them boxed. We got Centipede and Miss Pac-Man in there, and we got Outrun here. And there goes that horrible thing. Come now they have no air. We have to get to this corner, Scott. We got all these treasures. We have two corners unresolved. <laughs> this corner and back here. Let me show you the other corner. That's the one going overseas. That actually looks like a warehouse over here. It's getting better. And this corner. <laughs> there, all right, look at that. 
Operation. No, a revolution. Revolution X. Yeah. You gotta dig all this stuff out. Heaviest game ever made. There's guns. Oh my God! There's tons of stuff. All this has to get dug out. So we have more bargains coming, don't we? Oh, here's a bargain. Does anybody want to fool with this? Uh, we took this from a vendor. It's a CD jukebox uh, from, what's the company that makes this? NSM. I don't know anything about it. The player's in it. I'm sure it doesn't work. I don't know what's going on with it. It's perfect for parts if you're looking for parts. It's 200 bucks uh, plus shipping. Let's see if we pick it up. Should I do it? But that's a rate. Right. Anyway, I wanted to show you something that we did with that outrun that I forgot. All outruns in the world have a weak link, and that is the gear, the steering gear. They crack. See, inside the gear, there's a brass piece. Now, a few years ago, maybe five or six, a collector who loved the game very much engineered a metal gear. So we have put a new metal gear, this gear. I pulled this out of the drawer. I want to show you. See, now look. See the crack? See, it's starting to crack. So and the brass part's fine, but the, now, believe it or not, this will still steer. But it gets worse and worse. This is that upright that we uh, that we had that we parted out to make one to make two. But anyway, the guy doesn't make them anymore. I had one more gear that we put in this one, but this guy, I think it's England, over in England, he makes the gears metal. He makes actually two or three different ones. So he he would be my next choice. So now you can buy the gears to get your outrun going if you need to. Not the one we put in this one, but it's good. That's good, isn't it? Sure. You know, Scott, I should, I should thank you very much for creating, but you also borrowed my camera when you shouldn't have. Oh. It did that already. I poked your yeah. eyes already? I think so. I think I did. <laughs> I've been poking a lot. You know what? I, I, I guess I poked too much. Did you like tonight's video? Well, off these machines go. They're going to Colorado Springs, Colorado. Off they go. And we'll be back with more videos soon. And buy my book.